one of the types of differential equations that we have a known technique for how to solve is called a linear differential equation. Now in this video, we're just gonna look at first order linear differential equations. So we'll have y primes, but we will not have y double primes or third derivatives or, or that sort of thing. So in this video, we're just gonna mostly look at just the definition of a linear differential equation. We're not yet gonna look at how to solve them, um, but identifying them is the first step to, um, to being able to solve this type of differential equation. So uh, here's your definition. All right, we would say that a first order differential equation is called linear if it can be expressed like this. Uh, this is a form or a template that uh, if you can rearrange your terms in this way, then we would call it linear. Now, uh, this looks pretty just random. So there, there's some important things that we can read from this guy that are kind of the, the general principles of a linear differential equation. A um, couple things. Number one, uh, the uh, dependent variable and the dependent variable's derivative are, are should be additive combinations. So notice you have y prime and then here you have y, but they're not being multiplied. So basically you can collect all your derivative terms together and all your terms with y together and they should be added or subtracted, not multiplied. That, that's really a key thing. You should never have something like y times y prime in any sort of uh, linear differential equation. Okay, so that, that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is, notice how the first derivative and the uh, dependent variable y are only have first powers. So you could not have anything like a y squared or like a dy dx cubed. Those, <coughs> excuse me, those would not be deemed uh, linear. Now, one thing I will say, however, is look at look at the coefficients of y, for instance. This can be any function of x. P of x can be anything that has any x's. So he can have x squared, and this differential equation is still linear. It's kind of a weird thing, because normally you think if a variable is higher than one, it's not nonlinear. Uh, well, here we're talking about the dependent variable. So x squared is fine, and this is still linear. Um, this is a function of x over here. You could have e to the x, and that's fine. It doesn't matter. The y prime and the y have to have first powers only. Now, you might look at this guy and say, well, Devin, why doesn't he have any coefficients? You know, because I, I can understand group your y terms together and you'd have a function of x times y. Anybody who doesn't have a y or a y prime, you can throw them on the right side. That's a function of x. Well, basically, if you had a coefficient in front of y prime, let's say x squared or e to the x or whatever, you can divide all three terms by that coefficient uh, to get your, your coefficient of one. So that's the key principle to be linear as well, is this guy has to have a, a leading coefficient of one. So if you can put it in this template, in this format, we're gonna call it linear. All right, so let, let's run through a, a quick little quiz here real fast. Um, we're just gonna say yes, it's linear or no, it's not. And I, I threw in a, a few little tricky spots just to um, help illustrate some of these principles. Okay, so here we go. How about this guy? This one's very straightforward. You've got uh, dy dx or y prime, it doesn't matter how you say it, uh, coefficient of one uh, minus three xy equals five. Well, this could be deemed as a function of x and this technically could be deemed as a uh, function of x. You don't have to have x's to be a function of x. You just can't have any other variables. You can't have y or, or that sort of thing. So uh, this does fit the template. This would be linear. It's dy dx plus p of x times y equals q of x. So this would be linear. All right, how about this guy? Um, I see a couple things that concern me. Maybe, maybe you can think about these. Um, what about this square? Does, does that concern you? Uh, it shouldn't because this is not a square of a y term or a dependent variable or the dependent variable's derivative y prime is x squared. That's cool. That's fine. So, so I have no issues with that guy. Another issue would be what about, what about the fact that this is a coefficient of y prime? That's a little strange too, I think. So what, what we could do in this situation is we could divide the left side by x squared 
and divide the right side by x squared and this would be equivalent let's see what we would get this would become y prime right because they would cancel plus 2 over x squared y equals 0 I think you would agree with that so these are equivalent I just algebraically manipulated the terms and I have a coefficient of 1 now uh, this would be like my p of x times y and this could be considered as my q of x zero it's just a constant so that would be linear right so it fits that template we had to do a little algebra but i, I have no problems with that okay uh, how about this guy e to the x y prime plus x times y cubed equals sine x All right now I'll go ahead and tell you this is not linear but see if you can figure out why why do you think this guy is not linear is it because of this guy no it's not because of that guy you can have a function of x on the right hand side uh, is it because of the e to the x no that he's not a problem either because granted he's not a coefficient of one but you could divide him through by everybody and make him go away so he, he's not really an issue either um, how about this term here well, it turns out this is the guy who screws everything up, the y cubed. If it was x cubed, it would still be linear, but having a dependent variable to uh, some power, not allowed, this is not linear. So this technique that we're going to look at is, as far as how to solve linear differential equations in the, uh, in the upcoming videos, this would not be applicable for that method. Um, these two, we could use the method that we're going to eventually study. This one, we would still be stuck. Okay, uh, lastly, how about this guy? x e to the 2x minus 4y times y prime equals 2x minus y. Turns out this guy's not linear. Now, what makes him not linear though? Let me go through these one at a time. Is this guy an issue? No, he's not an issue. You could uh, rearrange these terms and put him on the right. This guy could be your Q of X. He's just in the wrong spot. We could move him to the, uh, to the right hand side uh, to be over here with the two X. Is the Y an issue? No, he's, it's not an issue either. Granted, it's not on the correct side, but you could add it to the left, and this would be your P of X times Y. That would be fine. Uh, it turns out this is the guy that I don't like. He's, he's not, as you recall, an additive combination. You probably remember this from the previous card back here. He's not an additive combination of Y and Y prime. He's a multiplicative combination of those two. So that, that's why that would uh, not be allowed, unfortunately. So um, ho hopefully through those examples, you're starting to get a feel for what linear means. So if it's of these first two types, like this guy or this guy, we're now going to move on and I'm going to show you how we would solve these differential equations if they're in fact linear.